One of these stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth $3,193. Which star is it? Doc Severinsen, Sandra D, Harvey Corman, Hugh O'Brien, Wally Cox, Amanda Blake, Joey Bishop, Karen Valentine, Paul Lynn. All in the Hollywood Square. And here's the master of the Hollywood Square, Peter Marshall. Thank you very much, Kenny Williams. A very good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Square. Hello, stars. Hi, good, evening. Good, evening. good evening. Doc Severinsen is wearing a see-through flag. <laughs> Sandra D, but she wouldn't wear it. Oh, she wouldn't wear it. I don't look. That's beautiful, Doc. Welcome back, my friend. Nice to see all of our friends. And I'd like to make welcome our Miss Circle for this evening. This is Gail. It's, it's Kuraz. How do you do, Mr. Mrs. 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 Kuraz, ladies and gentlemen? Gail, incidentally, is uh, teaching presently to help her husband through law school. They originally met in a golf class and have been continued swinging together ever since. That's what it says here. <laughs> well, anyway, good luck this evening, Gail. All right. Our Mr. X is Lieutenant Joe Fox. Lieutenant, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Handsome gentlemen, born in Scotland. That's right. Raised in Brooklyn. He is a pilot for the Marine Corps. He is married with two children, and I wish you all kinds of luck this evening. Thank you, Peter. We'll sell a product or two. We'll return and play our secret square worth over $3,100. After this, for the players is to get three stars in a row, either a cross up or not a diagonally. Every game is worth $250, and the person who wins the most cash tonight will win a brand new car. In addition, in our first two games, they play for a secret square worth over $3,100 in the first game. Kenneth, would you discuss that with our friends? Yes, an excellent start, the secret square, which includes Kimball Swinger Organ, amazing new feature, the entertainer makes beginners sound like an experienced musician. Play a simple one-finger melody and select rhythm accompaniment of your choice from Kimball Piano and Organ Company. And Snickers Munch Peanut Brittle. Great peanut brittle candy. A fistful of peanuts and munchy golden candy. Snickers Munch Peanut Brittle. And a pair of new Straddle Lounger low-back living room chairs. They're full-size reclining chairs. Exclusive headdress pops right up. The Straddle Lounger low-back designed for style and comfort. Plus, Maslin's Inner Circle carpeting in a subtle swirling pattern made of Cumulot Nylon from Monsanto. Good looks that will last for years. Maslin makes all carpets that way. Plus, the new 22-volume World Book Encyclopedia with separate research guide and index volume. World Book contains over 13,000 pages, 29,000 illustrations representing the work of over 3,000 contributors, and a $1,000 gift certificate from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value, selection, and economy. Spiegel, Chicago, 60609. For the show, the home audience, the secret square. As you know, the stars are briefed before the show to help them with the bluffs. Who won the toss backstage? I did. Good for you, Lieutenant. Good luck. Biggest star. All right. Let's start with Paul Lind. All righty. The state of New York is repainting something that will be 90, 90 next May. What are they repainting? It's either Arlene Francis. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I... <laughs> no. I wish I'd looked like she did at 90. Uh, it... <laughs> Uh, she watches the show, by the way, for I know, and I love her, so I can take it. Uh, it must be the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. I'll agree. No, it's the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh. And they're going to sell it. <laughs> what a circle. Gail, I'll break for you. Uh, Hugh O'Brien, please. True or false, according to the Internal Revenue Service, doctors are most often caught cheating on taxes when they break off an affair with a nurse who then tips off the government. That's some operation, pal. <laughs> Who tips off, the nurse tips off the government. Right. Yeah. Is that true or false? According to the Internal Revenue Service, doctors are most often caught cheating on taxes when they break off an affair with a nurse who then picks up the phone and says, hey, you, you won't believe this, and tells them. Well, I think it's true. I don't know if it's with the nurse, but I think it's true. I'll agree. It is true. So watch it, Doc. <laughs> Lieutenant? Karen Valentine. Karen Block. Valentine to Block. Who painted the famous painting of the blue boy? Was it Van Gogh or Van Gogh, as some people say? Gainsborough or Picasso? Gainsborough. I'll agree. And I believe it's here in Pasadena, by the way. And that's kind of nice for the next. Gail? Harvey Corman, please. Harvey Corman. Yes. Yes. It is worth $3,100, Mr. Corman. Listen carefully. Special envelope. Who was the first emperor of Rome? Was it Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar, or Tiberius Caesar? 
uh, was either Arlene Francis. <laughs> well, uh, uh, that would be Julius I, Augustus or Tiberius. I know, Pete. You oh, excuse me. Oh. Tiberius. Tiberius. I disagree. You don't know, Harvey. It was Augustus. <laughs> Listen carefully. Here. What a circle. So, Gail, you have won the organ, the lounge chairs, the carpeting, the encyclopedias, and that $1,000 gift certificate. A very good start and a very good game for you. Back to the matter of money. And, Lieutenant, it's your turn. I'll go to Joey Bishop. Irish stew has that name, Joe, because it has so much of a certain ingredient in it. What is that ingredient? And now you're dealing with a category I, I really know. Irish stew? Irish stew is called Irish stew because un, unbeknownst to many people, hidden secretly in Irish stew are matzo balls. <laughs> Irish stew is called Irish stew because of its abundance of potatoes, Irish potatoes to be exact. That sounds logical, I'll agree. It not only sounds logical, it is. And that's right. Good. Gail? Wally Cox, please. Wally Cox to win $250. This animal's real name, Wallace, was Mitzi. But uh, when she had her own TV show, she was known by another name. Was it Flipper, Gentle Ben, or Lassie? Flimpner. He said Flipper. I disagree. Flipper. X gets the square. Break for the lieutenant right here. Back to you. Okay, we'll go to Amanda Blake. For $250, Amanda. My son. Aw, oh, this is sweet. Listen to this. My son plays professional baseball. What team does he play for? Oh. San Francisco Giants. San Francisco Giants. No, I'm afraid I'll disagree. Do you have any idea what he might be playing? Chicago. Yeah. Hey, lieutenant, that's yeah. it. The Cubbies. Right. Very good. Joe, you have something to say. What is it? Put the lieutenant up here. Send Amanda down there. <laughs> Listen, why not? I've been trying to play this game for years. See, we have another game to play, and it's worth the secret square $2,400 and change. Yes, and Circle starts the secret square game. First, a Frigidaire refrigerator with an automatic ice maker. Forget about defrosting because it's 100% frost proof. And a Frigidaire custom deluxe double oven range. A, an electric clean <laughs> lower oven cleans itself automatically electrically. Plus a Frigidaire Deluxe Mobile Dishwasher. No more dishwashing, no doubt about it. Every Frigidaire is not a refrigerator. Plus, rice a -roni, the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. rice a -roni, the one you saute and simmer to perfection. Try rice a -roni, the San Francisco treat. And from the Adventura Collection by Keller, this hand-worked Madeira dining furniture with all the elegance and beauty of the Spanish tradition. Plus, flint coat peel and stick floor towel, simple to put down because the adhesive is on the back. Flint coat peel and stick and distinctive decorator styles. And then we'll fly you to Las Vegas for a week's vacation for two at the Union Plaza. Plaza Hotel, newest in Las Vegas, one of the world's largest casinos, 750 car garage, two lounges, two gourmet rooms, pool. It's your play at the Plaza. Very good. Let us show the home audience the secret square. Gail, you'll start this round as the lieutenant started the first game. Doc Severinsen, please. All right. Mr. Severinsen, how many days was peas porridge in the pot? Well, I, I'm not much of a cook. I don't know. About uh, <laughs> nine days, I think. I'll agree. Very good, Mr. Severinsen. Yes, for the circle. We have a commercial word or two here. We'll return and pick up uh, the second game of the match. It is your turn, Lieutenant. Let's go for old Wyatt Earp there, Hugh O'Brien. Hey, Wyatt. <laughs> True or false, according to his biographers, one of Richard Nixon's main themes as a young debater in school was why he hated girls. Would you say that again, sir? Sure. True or false, according to his biographers, one of Richard Nixon's main themes as a young debater in school was why he hated girls. I don't think that's right. I think that's uh, false. I don't know. I tend to disagree. It sounds in character. <laughs> Are you going to be a career man? Uh, <laughs> no, it happens to be true, by the way. It's so true. Yes, Joe, what is it? Find out what the corporal's going to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> We put an X there. Gail, it's your turn. Joey Bishop, please. That's the secret square. Joey Bishop. Me? Yes. It's Me. worth $2,400. Special envelope. For which role did Glenda Jackson, brilliant actress, Glenda Jackson, receive her Oscar? 
Was it for Mary, Sque uh, Queen of Scots, Women in Love, or Sunday Bloody Sunday? Give me the three again, please, Peter. Mary, Queen of Scots, Women in Love, Sunday Bloody Sunday. Glenda Jackson won her Oscar. Well, it's between two of them. Um, I'm going to go with Women in Love. I'll disagree. That's it. Oh. In 1970, Women in Love. Well, you won one Secret Square this evening, so not a two, not a two, not another one. So we put an X there. Lieutenant, a break for you, sir. I'll take Paul in again. During the 18th century, it was common for a bride to sell something at her wedding reception to help pay for the cost of the wedding. What did she sell? Her, her firstborn. <laughs> uh... Sell something? Yeah. Or probably her dowry. Her dowry. I'll agree. Good bluff. No. Drinks. She would sell drinks. Her drapes? Drinks. Oh. What? Drinks? Drinks. Booze. Well, it cost you. For $250 in the tie game. And the well known song, Ebb Tide. What does the tide plant on the shore after it rushes in? There's some rowdiness here. <clears throat> we have, after the order comes, uh, little seashells. Seashells. I disagree. No, a kiss. You both have $250, which is very important because the player who wins the most cash during the show gets a special big, super-duper bonus prize. Yes, it's a brand new Vega sedan, the little car by Chevrolet that does everything well. A success last year, now with improvements. Chevy's Vega. If the uh, show, incidentally, should end in the middle of a game, we add $50 to uh, our player score for each square they have on the board, and we'll play the game until we hit the buzzer. And if one contestant has selected the star when the buzzer rings, then we will complete his or her turn. Okay, third game of the match. The board is cleared. We'll start this round with the lieutenant. Let's go for Doc Severance. Doc, true or false? The older you get, the more likely you are to snore while you sleep. Well, um... I find that that's uh, not true in my case, man. I want to stay awake and see what's happening. So you say that's And nothing's false. happening at all. Oh, I see. I'm you just see. getting older, just laying there. But do you snore more as, uh, as you age, people, in general? Yes or no? You'll have to speak a little louder. They say that uh, too much uh, time in bed makes you deaf. I oh, I'm terribly you. sorry. The older you get, uh, the more likely you are to snore while you sleep. Is that true or false? That, that is true. He said it's true. I agree with him. Yeah, adults tend to snore increasingly with age, in fact. With the next, and Gail, your turn. Hugh you O'Brien, please. If, uh, if you're storing beer cans in the refrigerator, should you, they be standing up or lying down? Beer cans. Well, as an old beer drinker, they should be standing up. I'll agree. That's it, with a circle. Lieutenant? Go right ahead. Take Joey Bishop again. Are nude magazines allowed in Russia? Nude magazines, are they allowed in Russia? Actually, very few magazines are allowed in Russia. You know, nude magazines, are they allowed in Russia? Why, unless the men look like the women, I see no reason. <laughs> why they wouldn't allow it, but because it's that kind of a question, and I'd like to mix the lieutenant up, I would well, say this is not one of my better categories. <laughs> I would say offhand, naked magazines are allowed, but nude magazines are not. He said no. Well, it's a case of semantics, but uh, I don't think they are allowed. Hey, so you'll uh, concur with uh, Joe? They're not allowed. They are not allowed. They're illegal, in fact. With really? an X, and we have a commercial word. Paul, can you get 12 pounds of feathers out of a goose? I got them in there, didn't I? All right, I'm butchering the legacy of Paul Lynn, and for that I apologize. Let's watch some more of the real thing, huh? Gail, your turn, dear. Karen Valentine, please. Shelley Winters recently stated, I've decided to quit while I've got my sanity. It's having a terrible effect on me. I, I get awful nightmares. What is she going to quit doing? Acting. 
for a while because, you know, the parts she plays are pretty heavy. They get getting to her. Yeah? I disagree. Uh, we can accept Gail, but boy, that was close, Karen. It's uh, making horror movies. We needed horror movies, right? They scare her more than the audience. It's not just quitting acting, it's horror movies. Let us go. Lieutenant? Okay, Paul in the block. Paul, uh, the L.A. Times said that the U.S. may soon share a secret with Japan. What's the secret about? Uh, location of the Pacific Fleet. <laughs> Share. U.S. may soon share a secret with Japan. What's the secret about? Secret. Secret with the Japan people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Japan people, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, share a secret with them. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. I, that could be many things. Let's see. Uh, share a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Paul doesn't have a bluff. Well, I didn't like know we were about it. Okay. Oh. No, it's the it, it's atomic energy. They were going to have a whole thing. Oh. And, yeah, okay, we'll go back to a Paul for another question. Okay, okay. Right. is Billy Graham considered to be a good dresser? Paul, it's your question. <laughs> no, but he's a terrific end table. <laughs> <laughs> But is Billy Graham considered to be a good dresser, yes or no? I saw him come in the building tonight, and I'd say no. He says no. I think I'd have to disagree. It's yes, he's often on the best dress list. What was he wearing tonight, Paul? <laughs> what was he wearing tonight, Paul? Well, he looked like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> With a halo, right? Okay, Gail, it's your turn. Harvey Carmen. Harvey... According to Woman's Day magazine, if you're driving along and start to feel drowsy, taking something off might help perk you up. What is it? So, goodness. So, let's see if you're going to convert a bit. Let's take a so step. you're driving along and start, you start to feel drowsy. Now, mm -hmm. taking something off might help perk you up. What is it? Uh, your tie. Your tie. I disagree. What's your shoes? And we have a circle there. Lieutenant, your turn. Well, obviously, I got to work Wally Cox. Wally Cox, the block here. Reader's Digest recently referred to it as the book most... Uh, let me try... The, oh, incidentally, this will be for $500. Uh, Reader's Digest recently referred to it as the book almost nobody reads. What was it referring to? My view was clothing, for example, to be well-dressed. You, you, what you need is a brown jacket, mm, yes. a well, matching we, we, brown tie, right. we, we and must a seersucker jacket. Here, uh, yes, but we're back to the Reader's Digest. Recently, you referred to it as the book almost nobody reads. What was it referring to? The book almost nobody reads, yes. That's the Bible. The Bible. I think I'll agree. Unfortunately, it is true, because people don't seem to really read it at all anymore. With an X and $500. Square is worth fifty dollars. We're going for that car, and Gail, it's your turn. Amanda Blake, please. All righty. Uh, Small Town Girls was a movie with Jane Powell, Ann Miller, and Pat Ryan in the cast. Now, who pa uh, who's Pat Ryan better known as today? Mrs. Richard Nixon. I agree. That's right. Very good for you, Amanda. <laughs> Lieutenant. Fifty dollars. Hugh Bryan. More <laughs> land speed records have been broken on the Bonneville Flat uh, Salt Flats than anywhere else. Where are they located? What state? The Bonneville Flat, the Salt Flats. Utah. I agree. That's it. With an X. Gail. Joey Bishop. Joey Bishop. Who's more likely to be colorblind, a topless dancer or a truck driver? <laughs> Terrific question. One of my real categories. The truck driver would probably go colorblind from watching the topless dancer working in the nude. But the truth of the matter is, more men. See, that's a trick question, Peter. You can't fool me anymore. More men are colorblind than women. So it doesn't he, matter. He says the truck driver, Gail. I agree. Yes, eight times as many men are colorblind than women. Very good. Lieutenant? Wally Cox. Wally Cox, the block. In Greek mythology, Paris stole the wife of a man called Menelaus. Now, Menelaus made a big deal out of it. What was this big deal called? I, I just answered your question. I was taking a little nap. I know. You're back at it. Now, Menelaus made a big deal out of this thing when Paris stole the wife. Stole his wife, I should say. What was this big deal called? 
the, the Trojan War. Gail? Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Excuse me, the lieutenant. I agree. That's it, yes, which lasted for ten years. Yes, uh, the wife was Helen of Troy. Gail? Harvey Carmen de Block, please. Harvey de Block here. Legally, can you leave your fortune to a dog? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm leaving my fortune to a dog. Anybody we know? Yeah, Donna. No. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, he says. I'll agree with that. Uh, yes, you can. And you put a circle right there. Now we're going to add up the scores right here. The reason I was rushing along, every square was worth $50, so I didn't know whose turn it was. I was just trying to get all the questions in. First of all, Gail, we have $400 in cash for you, dear. Thank you. And we have the secret square that you won. <laughs> you missed the second one, but the, the one you won was worth $3,100. Lovely parting guest. We hope you enjoyed your evening. Thank you. I really did. Very nice. Lieutenant, you did not win a secret square. No, I didn't. We only have $600 in cash for you. But you're the cash winner. That means that you, sir, are our winner of the Chevrolet Vega sedan. Mine and, Lieutenant, we thank you very much. That's the way we like it on the Hollywood Squares. Two winners here. Doc Severinsen, thank you so much. Is your lovely wife in our audience this evening? Uh, she's out there someplace. Does yes. she come to the Tonight Show? No, she, she prefers this show. She oh, comes God here. love you. May your tribe increase. Sandra D., thank you so much for joining us. Harvey, The Carol Burnett Show, be seeing you this evening. Hugh O'Brien, he's here on NBC in a marvelous show called Search. Wally Cox, Amanda Blake, Gunsmoke, Joey Bishop, The Tonight Show. Karen Valentine, Room 222 with her pretty rose. Bye. Paul in the Paul in show. Peter Marshall, I am see a show called The Hollywood Squares, and we'll be here next week. We wish you a lovely week. See you then. Bye bye. House party. Party. Game. Game. Show. Show. Dog. Dog. Food. Food. Chain. Chain reaction. Chain reaction. The new game show from the producers of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Tomorrow at 9, 8 central on GSN. Chain reaction. <laughs> GSN, the network for games.